Solving simultaneous equations algebraically. It's quite a big topic, but we're going to just have a look at two examples using um, the elimination method to demonstrate the basics. Now here is a pretty standard GCSE grade B question. Um, there's no straightforward way of just manipulating these to get one of the letters on its own. So we need to multiply through um, to make either the X or Y in both equations have the same uh, prefix number in front. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the number in front of this x to times this equation, everything in that equation, and I'm going to use the number in front of this x, which is 5, to times this equation. When I do that, I end up with 15x plus 40y equals 35 for the first equation. And in the second equation, I end up with 15x minus 18y equals 6. Then I can eliminate the x's by subtracting everything on this bottom from the top. 15x take away 15x is 0x, so that goes. 40y take away minus 18y is the same as adding 18y. And you have to be very careful when you're subtracting to make sure you get the right sign here, so minus minus makes plus and 35 take away 6 is 29 and then when we divide by 58 to work out y so that is a half and then once we've got that value we can put that into any of these equations we've got written up above and we'll find x, so we'll put it into the top one, 3x plus 8 times a half equals 7, so 3x plus 4 equals 7, so 3x equals 3, and that tells us that x equals 1. So our solution is x equals 1 and y equals a half. Now, sometimes they're not that complicated, sometimes you just need to multiply by one number. In this uh, pair of simultaneous equations, if I multiply the top one by 2, I can make the f's the same. If I multiply the bottom one by 2, I can make the e's the same. I'm going to multiply the bottom one by 2. So I times everything in this equation by 2, and that will give me 2e plus 12f equals 8. Now, I'm going to subtract these two equations, so to try and keep the numbers positive, I'm actually going to put this top equation underneath this one before I subtract because if I take 3f from 12f that gives me a positive number whereas if I take 12f from 3f I get negatives. Just a, a little bit of a manipulation to make things easier when I subtract those two the e's disappear and I've got 12f take away 3f which is 9f and I've got 8 take away 2 which is 6 so that tells me f equals 6 over 9 or 2 thirds and again I'm going to use that value in this top equation, 2e plus 3 lots of 2 thirds equals 2. So 2e plus 3 lots of 2 thirds, well these 3's cancel. So I'm times it by 3 and dividing by 3 to leave me with 2 equals 2. So 2e equals 0, which implies e equals 0. And the other part was f equals 2 thirds. Okay.